Understanding Bogus Copies, a Guide for English Learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the phrase, bogus copies. This might sound a bit technical, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. Stay tuned to understand what it means and how you can use it in everyday conversation. First, let's understand the word bogus. It's an adjective that describes something as fake or not genuine. When we say something is bogus, we're saying it's a counterfeit, a sham, or simply not real. You'll often hear it in contexts where authenticity is crucial, like in discussions about documents, products, or even news. Now, let's look at the word copies. This is a noun that refers to things made to look exactly like something else. Copies can be of documents, artworks, products, etc. They are replicas or reproductions of the original item. In many cases, copies are legal and legitimate, like photocopies of a book page for study purposes. When we combine these two words into the phrase, bogus copies, we're talking about replicas or imitations that are not just copies, but also fake or fraudulent. This phrase is often used to describe counterfeit products, falsified documents, or any replicas made to deceive people into believing they are the original. To give you a better understanding, here are a few examples. 1. Counterfeit money. If someone is using bogus copies of money, they're using fake money that looks like real currency. 2. Fake documents. Bogus copies of passports or certificates are fraudulent imitations of these important documents. 3. Counterfeit products. In the market, you might come across bogus copies of branded clothes or electronics, which are illegal imitations of the real products. And that's it for today. We hope this video helped you understand the meaning of bogus copies. Remember, it's all about spotting the fake from the real. Stay curious, keep learning, and we'll see you in our next video. Happy learning, everyone!